getting set up. Day two, we're gonna wrap this thing. We'll wrap it up. You do half, he does half. And you try to keep your line as straight as you can. You pull it straight out. All right. There you go, brother. A lot better, right? Beautiful. See how that works, DJ? Pretty easy. Pretty easy. As long as you don't go too wide. Too too wide is beautiful. There you go, brother. You good now. It's the first time TJ done this with us. He's our newbie today. 90, that goes up against 90. the trailer. Spin it. I need five. We cut these things ten feet, Paul. Ten feet exactly. Where are you going on top? And that's a sure out. Fighting the hell out of them. First day. Both sides? You need what you got, Paul? Marking them, okay. Stuff be sticking you down to the roof, Bill. Oh, it's misty, big time now. Foggy, foggy. <coughs> I don't know if anybody's interested much in the scrapping, but I do have a scrapping channel. Just started out trying to give my grandson something to do over the summertime. I called it scrapping with grandpa. And when he's not with me, it's just scrapping grandpa. Um, 14 years old, trying to give him something to do over the summer. So I start me a new little channel of him taking things apart and scrapping. And hopefully it takes off, but I know we're gonna do it all summer. So if uh, you want to check out my channel, I'm going to try to throw a link up here somewhere. Maybe down below in the description, just to uh, anybody that's interested in looking. Other than that, making mobile homes great again. That's what we do. And this mobile home was in desperate need of attention. It had so much going on, so much cool seal and just bad news.
That's 7 16 OSB, 045 um, EPDM. We ain't far from putting metal on this thing, guys. Yeah. Not far at all. Beautiful thing. Give it a good sweep. Push it all down there. Beautiful. And then do the other side the same way. And it will stretch this rubber out and you'll see a wrinkle show up. That's just making it nice and tight. And then this evening when that thing cools off, that stuff will shrink and pull so tight. And while it's drying through the 24 to 48 hours, that will be stuck so tight by the time it's done, you won't be able to pull it off. During the day, it's warmer. I like putting it on when it's warm because it's stretched out, yeah. you know? And then when it cools off in the evening, shrink up so hard, pull so tight, you're like a rubber band. Beautiful job. Killer! That was just shitty. Damn, man. That was pretty shitty of you. Yeah, it was. Let the wind blow the other way. Damn. I just got here, too. What's you making there, Paul? Huh? No, it's trash. Get rid of the trash. Get rid of the trash. Makes it easier to cut. Bless you, bless you. Farting, fucking sneezing. Alright. I took care of it. Takes an hour so it gets in there. My nose is in the system. You got a nail? Yeah, I got a nail. Just don't have a hammer. Right there. 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 Mm -hmm. You want one there? I do. You need to No. Man, we worked together a long time. I trust him. You just got to pull your... You nail your face. You got your white nails? You nail your face I first. I Put it where it goes. Nail the face first. I'm good. So we hold it over, mark it right there, up and down, pass it back. Paul's gonna take it from there. Pass it back to me. I'm going to make another mark on it. All I did was mark this outside edge. He cut it off. And then I put a line right there. Right there. And then he's going to fold that around. And you'll see what that looks like when he pulls it back down here. Oh, 
after a few times of doing this, it gets fairly easy. It's just like your house. Do it once or twice. It just ties all this whole corner together. Makes it really nice. Sorry, Paul. I'm I'm beautiful. I mean, I couldn't be better. I could not be better. That's what you want right there. And then I'll tighten up that little seam right there. Couple nails. Tap the end around anywhere you need. Beautiful. Beautiful. Then I take the crimpers. Right there. Nice. <coughs> nice. Isn't that nice? Isn't that nice? All right, what do you think? Can I? Can I? Kidding. Thumbs up. Look what that looks like. Look what that looks like. You see what we did at the top? Look at that. Can I get a thumbs up? What? Now, that's up here. Pull them up here. Beautiful. Yeah, they're working. Now, all we have to do is put the rubber over, put turn bar on it, and that will be done. That's what you end up looking like at the end after Paul touches it up a little bit. Oh, that's just beautiful. I use stainless steel. They don't bend like them damn aluminum ones do. Oh my God. Things are ridiculous. Man, look at that. Huh? Finished. Finished. Well, I mean, we're just going to put screws in the bottom. That looks just spectacular. Thumbs up, please, everybody. Come on. Hit me thumb. If you've yeah, watched it this far, down. I got to deserve uh, I know I get one on every video. One thumb down. But uh, I don't know. I just think it deserves at least one thumbs up. All the way up through here. Paul's going to fold that rubber back over and put turn bar on it. Nice looking overhang. Nice looking overhang. A little rain gutter for the porch. There you go. Making mobile home roofs great again. Look at that, that don't look the same. That don't look the same. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, look, look at that. Look at that bad boy. <laughs>